Thanks for tuning in to No Wine in No Time. I'm your host Dave and today we're coming to you live from Southern Rhone in a town called Gigandas. Now Gigandas is famous for being a rustic cousin of Chateauneuf du Pop. Now let me explain that for a second. So when we think about the Southern Rhone Appalachians, we have AOCs uh, almost everywhere and they vary a little bit in style. Some are fruitier, some are more tannic, some are more balanced. And when we look at Chateauneuf du Pop, they always have had the reputation of being the cuvee of choice. But some of the appellations that surround that area, like Gigandas and its neighbor Vaquiras, uh, make exceptionally muscular wines. Now what I mean by that is this particular area uh, is quite warm. The Grenache, the Syrah, the Morvedra, uh, these particular grapes build up quite a high sugar content and the wines that are produced here are extremely muscular in their persona. So when we think about a wine, let's say, that has a huge body, uh, a significant amount of tannins, uh, this is the place to find that particular wine. Now here we don't have the uh, very significant cuvées like we have in some of the surrounding areas and they concentrate more specifically on those three grapes, Grenache, Syrah, and Morvedre. And there are some blending grapes that will make up very minor parts of the wine themselves. Now one other nice thing about this particular area is a phenomena called the Mistral. So the Mistral is actually a situation where the wind blows quite significantly at almost all parts of the year. So, let's think about some of the enemies of vintners themselves. We think of mold, mildew, things that can uh, destroy grapevines. With the Mistral, which is basically a wind that comes off of the Massif Central, uh, with that particular phenomena, what you have is you have a situation where the vines themselves stay much more healthy, and by various canopy management, in other words, thinning out some of the foliage, we can ensure that the fruit is of the highest quality. Right over my shoulder, you have the Dentil de Mont Raymond, uh, which is one of, the, uh, one of the most picturesque areas in the Southern Rhone Valley. It's a rocky outcropping uh, that jets straight out from the mountain. Very beautiful. So let's go ahead and try a Gigandas so we can pa uh, pattern it a bit. So this particular wine, comes to us from a vintner by the name of Remy Ferbra, and they actually titled this wine a Terra di Mistral, so it's kind of a tribute to the Mistral. This particular wine is a blend of Grenache and Syrah. So let's take a look. The first thing you'll notice in a Gigandas is the wine is significantly darker. It's a very dark garnet color with just a little bit of ruby edges. Uh, it's almost completely opaque because of the rich tannic structure of the wine. If we take and swirl the wine and give it a sniff, we notice that we get dark fruits and spice. So a lot of um, incense, a little bit of pepper, uh, and the fruits are darker like plums and cherries. Now a taste. A Gigandas wine takes the palate on quite a ride. It enters the mouth with some sweet flavors of cherry, raspberry, and a little bit of plum. But when it rolls across mid-palate, the spices jump out of the wine. We get a, a peppery, almost cinnamon persona. And then at the very end, gripping tannins uh, give this wine body. It's really quite pleasant. It pairs beautifully with uh, roasted meats. Uh, steaks, uh, stews of all different types. Really an excellent choice. So that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for tuning in, and tune in next time, and soon you'll know wine in no time.